Say good morning. Good morning. Yeah, that's what we all feel about Mondays. Good morning, you guys, and I feel like the kids do because it is a another Monday morning. So I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. We are back for another five-day school week. So this is what the kids are taking for lunch today. It is roughly about 6.55, so we have to go ahead and film this and pack up our lunch boxes because we leave here in about 15 minutes. So here's what the kids are taking today. I did go ahead and throw hot water in their their thermos and let the metal activate and then I cooked them up some chicken nuggets so I'm gonna put a little overlay right here of the picture sharing with you guys the chicken nuggets that I cooked and what I did for them so once the chicken nuggets were cooked and warm from the oven I rolled them up in a paper towel because you know once you put things that are hot underneath a top then it builds condensation and then it gets wet so I rolled it in a paper towel to kind of help absorb any moisture that it's going to gain from condensation and then I wrapped it in a piece of foil and I ended up and rolling it so that it was long so that it can slide in their thermos container once I heated it up so inside of here is their little tin foil container that has their chicken nuggets in it so Maya has some chicken nuggets she has her to cool water bottle here. I did open up the juice pouch from Trader Joe's, the lemonade. Maya said she really enjoys it. So I opened it up and put it in the thermos for her so she doesn't struggle opening it. I did make the everything but the bagel seasoning salad this morning and I gave Maya a little salad on the side. And then in here she has a grapes and a cheese stick. She has a Trader Joe's, this pumpkin walks into a cereal bar. She has the double cheddar Cheez-Its, and then she also has one of these pumpkin cheesecake cookies. These are like the place and bake ones by Pillsbury. I just baked them up yesterday and bagged them up for the kids to take. And some of this is for her lunch, and some of this is for snack time. For Mason, he's pretty much roughly taking about the same thing. He has chicken nuggets here in his container, and then he has his water bottle. He's taking an apple strawberry juice box that I got from H-E-B. In his little snack container for snack time, he likes his snacks separated from the rest of his lunch. I have a Danimals in there that's frozen. This way it'll defrost by the time it's snack time for him. And then he has a chocolate brownie Cliff Kids bar in there. And then in this little pouch, he also has a cheese stick and some red grapes. He has one of those cookies and then he has the cheddar and sour cream and onion Cheez-Its. And then for Jake, instead of just doing chicken nuggets, I did a salad for him and chicken nuggets. So I did the everything but the bagel salad. Now, some of you guys ask when I give the kids salad, where is their dressing? Well, I don't make the salad till the morning and it's one of those bag salads that come with dressing. So I've already pre-mixed it for him, but I don't mix it till right now. So it doesn't get incredibly soggy. And then these are what the chicken nuggets look like. And I have those on top and I have the top still open because the chicken nuggets are warm and again I don't want condensation to make his salad soggy so I'm going to hold that open until the very last minute and then I'll go ahead and close it up. He finally finished his brisk iced tea. He heard me talking about it at the end of the last lunch video since they were home on Friday and he said here this way you don't have to talk about it anymore and he downed the very last sip. So we're starting off the fresh week with a fresh brisk. He has some of the red grapes as well. He has the cheddar, sour cream, and onion cheese at Snaps. I got him some new of these sour raisins, but instead of in a box, it came in a little bag, and this one is Fruit Splash. So he's never had those before. He's either had the watermelon or the lemon ones that I put in a box, so I think that'll be a nice surprise. He has a chocolate chip Z-Bar in the protein, one cheese stick, and then his cookie has two of the pumpkin cheesecake cookies, and he grabbed one hot off the rack yesterday and said, wow, mom, these are delicious. It literally tastes like fall. So I know they're super good. I stole one off the rack warm also, but all right, you guys, that's it for this Monday. I'm going to go ahead and wrap them up and get my beautiful kiddos out the door. I will see you guys tomorrow. 
Good Tuesday morning, you guys. If you hear animals eating in the background, I had to give all of my pets something to eat so that they will leave me alone and let me film these lunch clips without being up my butt trying to eat anything that's here. So I apologize if you hear some chaos, but this is what the kids are taking for lunch today. It is Tuesday. I usually pack them some kind of sandwich on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then the rest of the week I try and stick with some something warm because they would prefer something warm over a sandwich but sometimes we have to compromise so I do that two days a week so we are at one of those days this week and I bought some bologna when I went to AGB just because I absolutely love boar's head cold cuts so I got some boar's head fresh cut bologna from the deli section and I think the kids are really gonna like it so I have some whole wheat bread here and I have mayo with white American cheese and some bologna and I cut the cut crust off and I cut it into little fours and I stuck it in Maya's Benko box just to try and limit some of her snacky stuff i just put the chips right here in this little section because she will reach for the snack stuff before she eats like the main course so i only gave her a little chips right there and then in the little section i put some blueberries and then over here i put strawberries and blackberries i got like a trio at heb so i put a little bit of that in there and then this is the m m rice crispy treat i was able to fit it right there for her and and then I did give her a Stonyfield organic whole milk strawberry beet berry yogurt. I figured she could have that at snack time with the Nutri-Green strawberry bar. And then this would be more for her lunch. And then I did take out the lemonade from the Trader Joe's juice box and put it back in there. And then here is her water bottle. So she is all set and ready to go. Here is what I packed for Mason. So he roughly has the same thing. He has the sandwich with the crust cut off, but I only cut it in half and not in fours. He has a chocolate drizzle Rice Krispie treat. He also has some berries down in here in his little section as well as this section over there. I know my kids, that never would have been enough like just of their fruit because they love their fruit. So I figured I would double up. No reason for a sweet treat in this little center, right? If you could just load it up with fruit. So I put that there and then I did give him his chips in a little bag because Maya has an extra compartment than he has in this. So I just gave him some chips in a bag and I gave him a little bit more because Mason does eat all of his lunch. So he deserves just a little bit more chips. I gave him one of those apple, strawberry, 100% juice pouches. And then of course, here is his snack special from everything else. So he has a iced oatmeal cookie Cliff Z bar and then an apple, strawberry, go-go squeeze applesauce. And then I did a freeze him a Danimals and I have a frozen water bottle here as a reminder. Yesterday he had karate and he took his water bottle like this with him and now I need to go to the car and see if he left it there. I hope he didn't leave it at karate but I can't find it around here anymore and with Bruno walking around I cannot walk away from this and go look for it or all this food will be gone. So I put this there as a reminder that when I shut the camera off mom has to go searching for a water bottle but that is what Mason is taking for today and then here is Jacob's. So I think I've mentioned that Jake is not a huge sandwich kid and part of the reason why he's not a sandwich kid is he doesn't really like bread like this. Like he's just not a huge friend of regular bread if I have it on a roll or something like that he'll eat it but he's just not really a fan of bread but he does really like wraps so I made him a wrap he's not a huge fan of bologna but down there is ham and white American cheese and lettuce tomato mayo rolled up in a wrap so I think he's going to be excited about that he really liked the Saturn peach that he ate over the weekend so I packed him another one of those he also has a Rice Krispie Treat, but I gave him the chocolate one. He has some potato chips. I thought that goes, you know, really good with a sandwich. So I gave him some chips as well as a pack of the O Snap pickles. I feel like pickles, chips, a sandwich, that's like a perfect 
meal from the deli, right? And then he came with me to uh, Mason's Karate. I picked him up on the way and the kid pretty much was so thirsty and he was out of water that he drank almost all of his bris. So look at that, you guys. One day and three quarters gone and then watch. We'll probably take this little sip throughout the rest of the week. Who knows? Uh, and then this I gave Jake because I just did a collaboration in my last lunch video, if you guys saw that, with Nicole. And when I was watching Nicole's video, she was giving the boys a premier protein. And I just don't know why I never thought about trying to give Jake a protein drink. I'm always trying to find him the bars, but I never thought about the drink. And I think partly it's because he always drinks so much water. Like you see how hard it generally is to get something of flavor in him. And so I just don't know how he's going to feel, but we're going to give it a try. I bought these for myself. They're by the Gatorade brand and it's a super shake. So it's 30 grams of protein in here and it's in the chocolate flavor. So I don't know. I'm going to give that to him and see if he'll, if that like helps you know, be a little bit more substantial and help keep him full throughout the day because he literally goes to school from seven to five. So it's just 10 hours. It's just such a long time. Like this is all that he eats in a 10 hour span. So, uh, and then I gave him this because he's not one for breakfast, which is why I try and pack him a heavier lunch. Cause then by the time he's hungry, it's lunchtime, but then he's also hungry like later on when he would need a snack. So I have the kind breakfast protein bar and the dark chocolate cocoa. He's never had that before but I thought that would all go he's like on a chocolate theme today but all right you guys that is it for Tuesday I will see you tomorrow for hump day good morning you guys it is hump day but we are going to run today like a boss yes we are so the kids are taking a hot lunch today because it is a Wednesday and it is also the first day of fall. So I kind of did a little bit of a fall theme, nothing too crazy, like no leaf cutouts or anything like that, but just a mild introduction to mom's favorite season. So here we are at what Maya is taking. So she has the very last of the Trader Joe's lemonade juice pouches put in her thermos and her water bottle. And in here is a cheese stick and then she has some little cherub tomatoes and some broccoli. And these are the little reusable snack bags that I got from Target. It was like eight in a package for $5. And it has been a great deal. Uh, I did give her a Stonyfield whole milk strawberry beet berry yogurt. And then I'm gonna pop up a little picture right here because I've already wrapped it in foil to keep it warm. But I made one of the everything bagel Nathan's hot dogs. So it's essentially a corn dog, but instead of like the outside breading on a stick, it is just a, hot dog with a everything bagel around it so kind of like a corn dog but not so much it's a bagel dog essentially so that is what the kids are having today so I popped a picture of that up for you and then she is taking this pumpkin and walks into a bar cereal bar they have some of the apple straws. These are like the same company that makes veggie straws, but it's apples. And so she has the cinnamon and sugar apple straws. And then the kids are taking the full party cakes, but two come in a package. So I separated one for each of the little kids. So Maya has a little Debbie's fall party cake and that will kick off her first day of fall. And then for Mason, he for the most part has the exact same thing. He has a water bottle, but he wasn't a fan of the lemonade. So he's been taking the apple strawberry juice pouches that I got from HEB. And then he also has the very same yogurt, but Mason just isn't really a veggie kid, but he loves his fruit. So instead of the tomatoes and the broccoli, he's just taking an apple because you guys know Mason and his apple. And then for snack time, that's where I put his cheese stick and his granola bar. He's taking Taking the chocolate chip Cliff Kids Z bar. And then he also has the same thing the apple fries, the other half of the party cake, and his bagel dog. So that's what the little kids are having. And then here is a what Jake is taking. So no success, you guys, on that Gatorade chocolate shake. He didn't really like it. He said it tasted like a weird chocolate milk to him. So I do think I am going to pick up some of the Premier Proteins. I know they have like a cookies and cream and some other kind of flavors. So I think I am going to keep my eye out and check for like some of the four packs and stuff and just try Jake on a couple of flavors and see what he thinks. And if he likes them, 
then that'll be really good for Jake because he did end up finishing it and he said, I'll finish it for you, mom, if I have to. I'm just not really a huge fan because he called me at lunchtime. And I said, look, that's okay, bud. Finish it up this time and then I won't give it to you again. But he said, but if it was a different flavor, I would like it. So the consistency did not bother him. So it's definitely something I'm going to pick up in the future. But can we just stop and laugh right now, you guys? Look, he didn't even, I knew it. This is going to be the running joke all week that he still has that tiny little bit. And then I am going to pop a picture up right here in case you guys aren't familiar with Trader Joe's or you've never seen one of my Trader Joe's hauls. I did make Jake the gnocchi a la gorgonzola just because he really, really loves that. And it really is just kind of a serving for one. So that's something that I make for him when I make the kids like a corn dog or something like that that he's not a huge fan of. So I did heat up his thermos and he's locked and loaded in here and ready to go. And then in this little pouch, he has a cheese stick and then some broccoli and tomatoes because he like my loves his veggies and then the same thing the apple straws he has the full thing of party cakes and then he has one of the peanut butter chocolate chip and protein bars for like a breakfast or something like that and then he has a spoon and I'm just gonna add a napkin and then that is it so that is it for hump day you guys I will see you tomorrow for Friday junior good morning you guys we have reached Friday junior just be you you guys that is my motto for today so we are set and locked and loaded with today's lunches it is right at 6 30 and i'm going to pack this up and then go get my kids up and ready to go so for today they're taking a sandwich because it's thursday so i did peanut butter and fluff for them today i've done this one so far like since school started and the kids really enjoyed it it is kind of a sweet treat so it's not something i'm going to make a habit of doing maybe one once every you know four or five weeks or so we'll throw in like a peanut butter and fluff kind of sandwich but the kids really enjoyed it so that's what I made for them today and I cut Maya's into four pieces and then I just gave her a little pack of the Halloween pretzels I wasn't gonna break those out until into October but I really just wanted the kids to have like something else to go with their lunch today but I didn't want anything else sweet or anything like that and so pretzels just seemed to make the most sense and these were all that I had so they're taking a little bats and jacks Halloween pretzels by us and then for her like sweet treat she has the cookie pop popcorn in the oreo flavor in this little container she has some cucumbers and some cherub tomatoes that'll probably be the first thing that she'll eat because my is definitely my veggie kid for sure and then in her little snack pack she has one cheese stick and then a strawberry nutrigrain bar she begged 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 me to let her take this high sea juice box this is mine Sorry, not sorry, 40 years old and still love me some juice boxes, but I really just love the Heisey Orange. And when I saw it on sale in HEB, I snagged it for myself, but Maya begged me to just let her take one. So mom figured one out of 10, fine, I'll share. So I'm gonna send that with her. And then here is her water bottle. So she is set and ready to go. And then here is Mason. So he pretty much has the same thing. I didn't cut his sandwich into fours, but he has the peanut butter and fluff. He has his Halloween pretzels. He has the cookie pop popcorn, but in the Nutter Butter flavor. And then he is anti anything vegetable. I, he's my only kid who doesn't like vegetables. He'll do any fruit under the sun, but no veggies. So he does have the apple cinnamon fruit on the go applesauce pouch. And then he has a cheese stick. And in his snack, snack pouch, wow, I can't talk. You can tell I still have a lot of coffee in there. I'm still not all together. I have a frozen Danimals for him. Do you hear my dog? Right on cue. Um, I have a frozen Danimals for him so that I'll defrost by snack time. And then a chocolate chip Cliff Kids Bar. He has his apple strawberry juice box and his water. Hold on, Bruno. Mommy's almost there. And then Jake, again, same thing. He has a peanut butter and fluff sandwich. He took the last of the pretzels. That's why I gave the kids the little Halloween ones because he took the, the last of the bag that we had. So I put a little pretzels in his container. He has the cookie pop popcorn and the Nutter Butter. Here, here is his Cliff Kids bar and the chocolate chip, but he has the protein one. And then he has a cheese stick. He also has cucumbers and tomatoes because he loves his veggies also. And sticking with the running joke, of the week like I think maybe he did take a sip I feel like this was a, n up past the label but yeah we're still working on this little spit 
left that he uh, had since Monday. But all right, you guys, that's it. I will see you tomorrow for what I am so excited for, TGIF. It's Friday night, and the mood is right. We're gonna have some fun, show you how it's done, TGIF. Just to let you guys know, in case you're wondering and you're not new here, that TGIF is never going anywhere, you guys, because I swear that every time I hear that, it just is the epitome of everything that I remember as a child. I'm going to be 40 next month, and those are some of the nostalgic things that I can think of from a kid, like having Pizza Friday with my family and then sitting at the dinner table and eating pizza and watching the TGIF lineup where we watched Family Matters and Perfect Strangers and all of that. And so... It's never going anywhere, just FYI. I hope you like it, because it's staying. All right, well, speaking of Pizza Friday, I'm gonna pop up a picture right here, but this is of Jake's lunch. He's the picture that I snapped, but all the kids are somewhat taking the same thing. So I just made one of those Totino's party pizzas. Well, I made two of them. Jake is taking, you know, one of those, and then I split the other one between the two little kids. I cut the pizza in four strips. So the two little kids each got two, and then Jake, you know, just got the four. So Maya has two strips of the cheese Totino's pizza, definitely highlighting our pizza Friday. She has a one of those uh, pumpkin cookies. This is the last of those pumpkin cheesecake ones that I made over the weekend. She is taking a pumpkin walks into a bar, a cereal bar for her snack time. I gave her a mandarin orange cup, like a fruit cup. I thought that would go good with her cereal bar for snack. And then to go along with her pizza, I thought, you know, chips and pizza kind of go good together. And so I have the Trader Joe's pickle chips. She absolutely loves these. These are her favorite potato chips. So I have some of those in a snack bag for her. And then I gave her pickles just to go alongside of it. I feel like pickles with pizza and chips, that just kind of like screams a really fun Friday. But I think that the funnest part of the Friday is going to be this little Jojo Siwa drink. So I saw these in HEB. I got one for Mason and one for Maya. And normally I don't buy stuff like this, but I was pretty impressed that it said it was filled with vitamins no added sugar only 25 calories no artificial flavors and colors no preservatives or anything and all the ingredients were like uh raspberry puree blueberry blackberry currant cranberry so it's all natural colors i like that it's no dyes it says it has a toy attached to it and it pretty much just says that it's spring water naturally flavored with vitamins so i was pretty impressed by that i don't know how well good it tastes but for a dollar and change i just thought that would be fun to send like on a friday as a special treat and then I don't know what she'll choose for snack. Maybe she'll choose the cookie. Maybe she'll choose the fruit snack. I mean, she always comes home with at least two of these things and then finishes it when she gets here. So I did also give her the pure layered fruit bar and the raspberry lemonade so that she has some choices. So that's Maya. Mason pretty much has, you know, somewhat of the same thing. He has that pizza. He has that cookie. He does have a pure layered fruit bar, but he has the pineapple and passion fruit. Instead of the fruit cup, he has a pear. Instead of the pickle chips, since he's not fond of pickles, he has some of those apple straws. These things really are so, so good, you guys. And then, of course, Mason likes his snack separated. So he has a cheese stick in there and then a chocolate chip a granola bar, like the Cliff Kids bar. He's been taking that every day, and yesterday was the first time that he did not eat that. Usually his snack is something that is always gone, and then sometimes he'll come home with like half of the main course and then one snack or something but yesterday he finished like all of the main course and stuff and snacky stuff and then never touched his snack. I don't know. I thought that was kind of weird, but uh, he has his water bottle and then here is what his is instead of Jojo Siwa. It's the green Angry Birds and his is in the apple flavor. I think Amaya's was the fruit punch and again, it has a little toy on the inside. So just a little 
you know, treat for them to have alongside of their water for Friday. And then here is Jake's. Like I said, he has the full pizza, which the way that it's positioned in here, this is pretty much the size of what a Totino's, you know, pizza is. So I think this will be good enough for him. He enjoys that. And then he also enjoys the pickle chips. So I gave him some pickle chips along with a pack of O Snap pickles because he, like his sister, really enjoys that. He said he really enjoyed the Saturn peach. He said he didn't even know it was a peach. I forgot what he said he thought it was. Oh, an apricot. He thought it was an apricot because he said it tasted so different than a regular peach, but he really liked it. So we only have two left. So I figured I would give him one and then he can eat one over the weekend because they won't be good carrying into next week. So he has that. And then I, like I mentioned, we got like a big box of variety cookies for Labor Day and some of the cookies that were in there were Oreo and so I was waiting to like divide this up for the kids and stuff and I went to get them this time and there was only one pack so somewhere along the lines these kids have been sneaking packs of Oreos or my husband's been eating them somebody's been eating them but I was waiting and holding off and somehow they disappeared so Jake got the Oreo cookies I wouldn't normally give him this full one but these aren't like the standard size of Oreos they're a little bit smaller and then Jake said he really did enjoy this he didn't like I told you guys he didn't like the Gatorade drink but he liked the kind dark chocolate cocoa the breakfast protein bar so since he doesn't eat breakfast I figured that could be his breakfast and then he could just pick on this stuff for his lunchtime and on the bus yesterday he didn't get home off the bus because the bus was late until almost 6 p.m. all right you guys I hope I can insert this somewhere seamlessly so it doesn't look ridiculous but I had to stick with the running joke of the week because you know it's Friday so uh, yeah, still that same amount left. Hopefully I can get Jake to drink it either today or tomorrow. But yeah, that's where we're at with that. All right, back to me. So it gets a little crazy up in our house during the school week, but thank you guys so much for joining me for another week of lunches. You guys have been fantastic showing up for these. I really hope that we are giving you guys some ideas or inspiring your lunch boxes. I love you guys so, so much. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.